Welcome friends of the internet to another customization and review video on GTA 5. Today we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Truffade Thrax. I say brand new because it was released recently, I know a few months ago, but it was recently in the most recent GTA update, which was the Casino and Resort DLC, obviously. And as you can see, I am in the Thrax is based on a Bugatti, some sort of Bugatti, and it looks amazing. It does look awesome um, from the side, from the front. Not too keen on the rear, which is, yeah, I think it's, it's going to be like Marmite. It's, you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. So without any further ado, let's crack on with this video. So we're going to start, as always, with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes and get the race brakes for the bumpers. Front bumpers, we only get four additional options. And it looks like they're just going to be splitters. Shit, man. That's not cool. Not cool at all. We're just going to get the carbon splitter. Rear, then we've got three additional options. Again, it doesn't change anything. Like, actually, physically doesn't change anything. It doesn't even look like it changes colour, to be fair. I mean, what the fuck is what that about? God damn it. That is awful. Awful customization so far. We're just just going to stay stock for the rear bumper because to be fair it doesn't look like it changes anything uh, engine we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhausts loads of options for the exhaust so funnily enough whatever that's all about but you know can't even see what the fuck what's going on wish there was a way you could just turn the uh, the engine off whilst you're in customs it'd be a little bit more convenient wouldn't it and it looks like it's just changing the surround for them top ones which is just bullshit this one is, what's that, a fucking five tip exhaust? Oh my god, insane. We'll just go go with the carbon one, just so it matches the front split, I suppose. Grill, uh, loads of options for the grill. How much is it actually going to change, though? That one actually looks quite nice. I like the chrome cross, cross grill, that looks awesome. Actually, really impressive way that looks. Wow, these ones look good too. Yeah, man, I'm actually really happy that that you can change the grill so much. It's awesome. Fuck it, I'm gonna go with a chrome crossed. We can always change it at a later date if I really need to. Then we've got the hood. Loads of options for the hood. But it doesn't look like it's actually gonna change anything. It's just just a color. God damn it. Oh, oh actually, nope, sorry, I take that back. I'm eating my words as we speak. It does change it. Not crazy amounts, but it does change it. That is insane. That's insanity, that is. Oh my God. Definitely not having that. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, I actually like this. I, I think that ties in nicely. So if I go with the carbon vents, it ties in nicely with all the other carbon um, bits I've got on the car. We'll go skip the horn. We'll go go to the lights and grab the Xeon headlights. Liveries, obviously. It's a new DLC vehicle. Got to have your liveries. So hopefully they're going to be, you know, half decent, worth having. We've got the yellow accents, the white. And then we've got like racing liveries going to the racing territory now which on cars like this i don't really get i don't understand it um yeah so it's not not for me I, i'm not going to get a livery cars like this shouldn't have liveries it should be a law <laughs> it should be a law uh but we're going to go to the respray we're going to start with a primary we're going to go metallic i think i'm actually going to go something really odd with this vehicle i'm going to go bleach brown for the primary and for the secondary color i'm also gonna go metallic but i think i'm gonna go with like a brownie color call me crazy but i think it actually looks quite nice the maple brown holy crap i think i actually really like that but now i think the carbon bits look a little bit strange i don't like that stripe across the top of the roof either it's a shame that it should kind of be all one colour on the roof in my opinion, hopefully we can change it. If we can't, just have to fucking lump it, we? <laughs> it's just one of them things. Roll cage. Uh, I'm not sure about a roll cage in, in this vehicle. I think it looks a little bit too nuts, so I'm not going to get a roll cage. Side panels. Okay. So we're going to get the carbon vents, why the hell not. Spoiler. Shit man, there's loads of options for the spoiler. Um, hopefully this makes the back end look a little bit nicer. I actually really like that one, the aggressive spoiler. I'm, you know, look, I'm not a massive fan of spoilers on supercars either, but because the rear end of this car is just so ugly from stock, hopefully we can do something to kind of counteract that a little bit. 
And if we have to stick a massive spoiler on the back of that to do <laughs> to do it, I'm gonna do it, man. The GT spoiler actually looks quite nice too. It, it folds in nicely. Um, the works that might be beneficial because obviously then it helps break up that ugly stripe across the roof. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. The works spoiler, let's have that. Transmission, we're gonna get a race transmission. We're gonna, oh shit, we've got the trim. I thought it was gonna go to the tuning, but no, straight to the trim. All fucked up with this. Okay, so we've got a chrome trim at the moment. I actually like that, the secondary trim, so you can, oh, or we get the carbon trim. I think, secondary, yeah, let's do it. Turbo, we're gonna get turbo tuning. Wheels, I'm not going to change them because they are immense. They are so nice. And windows to finish up. Go get the light smoke window tin, baby. So let's get this out on the streets. Have a little peek at it. So as you pull out of LS Customs, you'll see the Trophy Thrax is very unique looking. Um, I'm not 100% sure on this color right now. <laughs> now I've pulled it out. But, you know, it's different, I suppose. Yeah, I'm really unsure about the looks of this car actually now. I've actually customised it and changed the colour and all that. I don't think it's the best looking Truffade in the game. I think that moniker goes to uh, the Nero. But the Thrax is something different, I suppose. It's a little little bit out there, a little bit wacky. Um, I thought I'd go for some wacky colours. That stripe on the top, I'm not 100% sold on. You could make this car look a little bit nicer than what I've done. I haven't done a very good job of it, to be fair. Um, but that aside, it's still an awesome looking car. It's very unique looking, even though the front actually looks a little bit piggy. Now I look at it a little bit more. So it's very, it's very strange looking, you know. I think the more I'm looking at this, the less I'm liking it, which isn't good, especially with a car that's going to cost as much as this does. Um, so customization on it is pretty shit. Um, looks from stock, I'm, I'm actually slowly changing my mind and thinking that it's not as nice as I originally thought. And yeah, I think stock looks is from standard is just not that great either. The front of it looks a little bit piggy, and I've always disliked the rear of it. Customization is pretty shocking, and even um, the acceleration doesn't feel like you know snappy like you'd expect it to. It feels quite sluggish. It's like it doesn't pull as hard as it should do, um, which is really strange and um, disappointing. Handling actually feels quite heavy too. You know, I, d I don't really like this car, to be honest. I thought I'd come into this video thinking, yeah, this ain't too bad. It's a trough age, you know, it looks pretty cool. But the more and more you drive it and the more I customised it and the more you look at it, the more you realise it's, it's not that all that at all. I know I haven't done a great job of customising it with the colours, the colours are a little bit weird, but that aside, it still doesn't hit any, you know, any any home run for me at all. It feels really odd and um, yeah, I don't like it at all, really dislike it. Um, so I, I wouldn't be putting any sort of grinding or hard earned money into buying this. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd leave this one by the wayside and you know move on to the next one. But that is just my opinion, of course. Uh, so on that note, <laughs> I am going to leave the video right there. So I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.